Feeling the heat because your fridge isn't cooling at all? Don't worry, I'm Rory with AppliancePartsPros.com, and today we're diving into the top five culprits behind this chilling issue. When your fridge isn't keeping its cool, it might be time to inspect the condenser coils and fan, or maybe it's the evaporator fan or fans causing this trouble. It could even be something in the defrost system or the electrical system that's gone awry. While sealed system issues shouldn't be overlooked, don't forget the simplest culprit, ambient temperature. That might be in play too. Even if you're new to appliance repair, tackling these potential problems is easier than you might think. Let's get this fridge back to work. First up, the condenser. If the coils are buried under a layer of dust and pet hair, your fridge can't dump heat like it's supposed to. Unplug it, pull it away from the wall, and take a look. If they're dirty, clean them with a coil brush or vacuum. That alone can bring the temperature down a few degrees. And don't forget the condenser fan. This little guy sits near the compressor and pulls air across those coils. If it's not spinning, the compressor overheats and the fridge warms up. Check for obstructions and see if the blades turn freely. If the motor's seized or you hear it buzzing but not turning, it's time for a replacement. Moving inside, we've got the evaporator fan or fans. Dual evaporator models have a fan in each section, moving cold air from the evaporator to where it's needed. If you hear clicking, squealing, or nothing at all when the compressor's running, that fan could be the problem. Open the compartment and have a listen. Also, check for ice buildup on the evaporator. If it's frozen over, the fan can't spin. What's the worst time your fridge has ever stopped working? Drop your comment below. That brings us to the defrost system. Frost buildup on the evaporator coils will choke airflow. The usual suspects are a failed defrost heater or thermostat. You'll need to test each part for continuity or resistance, then replace the bad one. If there's no obvious failure, no iced over thermostat reading open, no bad heater, no seized fan, the electrical system might be to blame. Loose wiring, burn contacts, or a bad control board can shut cooling down entirely. If all the mechanical parts check out, grab your wiring diagram and verify that each component is getting power. We can't skip the sealed system. This is where the refrigerant, compressor, and tubing live. A leak, weak compressor, or restriction in the lines can kill cooling completely. If you suspect a sealed system issue, it's time to call the pros. This work requires specialized tools and a license. Before we wrap, a couple of honorable mentions worth checking. First, ambient temperature. If your fridge is in a garage or unheated space, extreme cold or heat can throw off its cooling cycles. Sometimes the fix is as simple as moving it to a better location. Second, low voltage DC drag. When a low voltage component fails, it can send electrical noise to the main control board. That can cause all sorts of weird behavior, especially with cooling. These can be tricky to track down but they're worth keeping in mind if the fridge is acting erratically. If one of these fixes brought your fridge back to life, let us know in the comments. And if you're still chasing the problem, all the parts and step-by-step -step repair videos are at appliancepartspros.com. Thanks for watching. Now go enjoy something cold while your fridge does its job.